Have you ever wondered who first made voices travel through thin air? Or how a single spark changed the way humanity connects? In the late 1890s, while others dismissed the idea of wireless communication as fantasy, a young Italian named Guglielmo Marconi was quietly building something extraordinary. In his small attic laboratory, surrounded by coils, wires, and glass tubes, Marconi believed that invisible waves could carry messages. Across rooms, across cities, maybe even across oceans. His neighbors called him the crazy electrician, but Marconi was undeterred. Every night, he adjusted antennas, studied the weather, and listened for the faintest click of a receiver. Then, one foggy morning in 1895, it happened. A spark leapt from his transmitter, and a bell rang on the other side of the hill, with no wire between them. For the first time in history, a human voice had traveled through the air. News spread fast. Scientists were skeptical, journalists curious, and inventors around the world suddenly began dreaming of wireless telegraphs. Marconi's experiments grew bolder, from one mile to five to over 20, until in 1901, he set his sights on the impossible, sending a signal across the Atlantic Ocean. With a small team on the windy coast of Cornwall, England, he waited. The antenna swayed in the storm. Lightning flashed across the horizon. And then, faint but clear, came three dots in Morse code. The letter S. It had worked. A signal had crossed the ocean, invisible yet undeniable. The world had just become smaller. Radios began to fill ships, homes, and cities. Information, music, and voices flowed across continents, all because one man refused to believe that distance was permanent. Marconi didn't just invent the radio, he invented connection itself. His discovery reminds us that even the smallest signal can reach further than we ever imagine, if we just have the courage to send it.